Hello, everybody. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be the daily message for January the 10th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you, so please do only take with you the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. This reading is not sign specific, although I will call out any specific zodiac signs that I do see throughout the reading. If you have not already done so, do feel free to hit that subscribe button below to join the channel. And let's jump right in and see what kind of a collective message needs to come through today for January the 10th. What do we need to be aware of when it comes to these energies today? What do we need to be aware of? Seeker, deep yearning for spiritual knowledge, maybe spiritual seeking. Deep, deep curiosity is being triggered when it comes to a deeper meaning to your existence this life. I think... Be open to receiving the energies that are coming through. The energies are quite intense with all of these activations and downloads coming in. So quiet your mind in order for this energy to flow through you and be willing to release anything that comes to the surface for purging because I feel self-development is in focus with the energies today and you're really needing to recognize where you have been neglecting self-nurturing, um, where you have been neglecting the parts of you that have been yearning for this growth, this seeking energy, because we never, ever stop working on ourselves. So nourishment, I think you're going to need to honor your mind, your body, and your soul, and to treat your life as sacred. Um, nourish yourself in the most healthy way possible. That's a big, big message today. Let's see what other energies need to come through. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to these energies today, please? I heard slow down. Maybe somebody needs to slow down, get grounded. I feel um, a lot of ascension energy is coming through. You might want to slow down. I think um, some new seeds are being planted in the energy, and this is feeling like romance in the air if you planted some seeds a long time ago i think they are about to bear fruit is what's coming through i think romance is in focus with the roses kiss i feel it's time to close out a cycle somebody here i feel is getting broken wide open in order to embrace the spirit of gratitude so be thankful for any lessons that are being learned in the energies i feel Somebody awakening the heart gateway when it comes to their own mystic healing capabilities. When it comes to this seeking energy of knowing that there's so much more than this 3D physical reality. So I feel you might want to get grounded because there's romance budding below the surface and something is about to bear, to bear fruit. Yeah, it is. Great big love is about to bear fruit in the energies today. Beautiful. Let's see um, what some of these influencing energies are. What are the influencing energies, please, when it comes to this message today? Financial health, overall well-being, and financial health is truly an inside job. So well-being, health is in focus. Maybe somebody is shifting their career path, stepping into their purpose. I think somebody here is finding their confidence maybe to come forward with a new romantic offer. Maybe there's a lot of protection in the energy. Family foundations are in focus. So I think um, get ready for a shift. There is something here that is likely to grow to be very abundant. Maybe somebody stepping into, you know, honoring their spiritual gifts and building a career from that. But love is in focus either way. So let's see what needs to come through with the psychic tarot of the heart today. What else do we need to be aware of? I'm feeling Leo energy with that confidence. I think it's time to restore your overall well-being and to confront any shadow aspects. I feel the time is now to confront any fears, to release anything that's no longer in alignment. I kind of feel somebody is laser focused. Maybe you're going to be getting a lot of downloads when it comes to this action needing to be taken. 
because once again, somebody is breaking these chains of addictions, extreme codependencies, because big, big, great, big love is in focus today. And you might need to surrender control because I think divine will is in focus today. And you're going to need to seek for that deeper meaning. So you might want to spend some time in solitude as the cycle winds to an ending. But let's see what else is being evaluated when it comes to this message today. What is being evaluated when it comes to this message today? It is about building on solid ground. And to begin that exploration, I think, into your own gifts especially when it comes to a soulmate connection. I think a re-evaluation of priorities is coming to the surface. As somebody really reflects on what their truth is, what is your spiritual truth? I think a lot of inner reflection, and I think somebody here is getting ready to count their blessings, to engage in a higher reason, a higher purpose, and to look forward to a brand new beginning. Claim your art. So what is it that you have to bring to the collective when it comes to some creative aspects, when it comes to your spiritual gifts? Because we all have a purpose. We all have gifts. Claim your art. Okay, so what is it that you are here to create? We are all conscious co-creators. So there might be a need to reevaluate some property or some priorities, some property. Maybe there's going to be a shift in property. Maybe somebody is moving homes. That came out for a reason. But let's read into this. Reevaluate your priorities. Let's see if I can find it. 110, 11. So maybe foundations are without a doubt in focus. But I think if you've been engaging with some negative people, it's time to stop being lured in to these negative vices with that devil energy coming out could be dealing with a Capricorn. I think somebody here is involved in a situation that really has compromised their integrity and they've just been shutting their eyes blatant to, to this negativity. I think disregarding the red flags and all of the warnings along the way. So I think it really is time to reevaluate before um, your course gets redirected for you with a towering event. So I think the energy today is calling you or somebody to reevaluate priorities and to stay true to your authentic self, to say, to say yes to this spiritual test, I feel, that is being brought forward by the universe in order for you to rethink your values, um, or you might not pass this test is kind of what's coming through. So you might want to temper your ambition. Somebody here has tempered their ambitions for superficiality, for superficial desires with that devil card coming out. And nothing is worth pursuing if it, if it compromises your integrity and your moral values. So, you know, I think somebody here has been given the gift of free will and now they've got to face the consequences that they cannot escape of these choices. So I feel what goes around comes around is a big message today. And no matter how clever you think you are, we can never ever bypass that fundamental law of the universe of what goes around comes around. So I think get ready to experience some chaos some disaster in the energy because somebody's definitely been heading down the wrong path and it's time to turn around before it gets too late is the message so it's time to build on solid ground is what is what they're saying so get ready for the crumbling of a false foundation because it's time to build a truthful foundation on genuine integrity without any superficial appearances so <laughs> I think somebody's getting scrutinized in the energy in order for them to reinvest their, their time on solid ground. So get ready because from the dust and the ashes will emerge a brand new beginning. So I think somebody is facing their worst nightmare and experiencing a major loss because somebody here has been living in denial and they're deeply flawed and it's time to take a stand and to go in a new direction. There's definitely a major ending in the energies today. But let's see what needs to come through with the tarot when it comes to this energy reading. Yeah, there's that false foundation crumbling to the ground. Somebody's not been listening to the higher guidance with the Hierophant reverse. 
We now got the devil reversed. So we got Taurus and Capricorn energy. There is the ending of a marriage, a committed partnership, breaking these chains of addiction, extreme codependencies, and there's that truth. I think it's time to find your authentic voice, to speak your authentic truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming through. I feel a masculine that is getting ready to cut through the illusions, to face any fears about coming forward with some truth. Ooh, we got a true pair on the board. The Queen of Swords is the central energy, and she truly is the epitome of authenticity. We talk about her all the time. I think maybe somebody lied to her in the past. Maybe somebody went down the beaten pathway and there's about to be a lot of revelation and truth coming through in the energies today when it comes to a soulmate connection. And I don't know that you're going to see this coming. This Queen of Swords has her, her back turned to the moon. So I think she's not going to see this coming because somebody I feel has been watering a dead tree. I think they've been somewhere they don't belong. There's definitely movement here. Um, when you get that seven, pe seven of pentacles in reverse, there's nothing left there to grow. I think there's been resistance to releasing a situation where there's not um, reciprocity. Maybe somebody's sneaking away from an unrequited love situation in order to come forward and speak some truth to reevaluate some priorities because there's time. Th this is the time for that karmic rebalancing. The time is now. Somebody, I think, is walking away from a foundation, walking the spiritual path, stepping towards healing, wish fulfillment, and a lot of illumination is what I'm feeling. So I kind of feel um, somebody really has been hiding their truth, hiding their true intentions. I think in the past, there was not equal give and take. And this masculine is about to get a major wake-up call when it comes to a karmic rebalancing because... This Queen of Swords isn't going to stand for any lies, any manipulative behavior. If you're operating out of your shadow self, she will cut throat you and she will cut you out. She's got boundaries firm in place is what I'm feeling because I think she was hurt in the past. I think she did give her heart away in the past and it wasn't reciprocated. And I think somebody went down the beaten pathway. Maybe there was lies, secrets, thieving here. And there's about to be a major rebalancing because somebody's getting ready to walk away from a very dissatisfying foundation. There's a lot of illumination when it comes to some trickery, some thieving. Maybe somebody has been going within trying to reprioritize and reevaluate their, priorita their priorities because I feel somebody got caught up in a very toxic karmic situation. The Queen of Wands reversed is lustful, manipulative, controlling, possessive, jealous, vengeful. There's a lack of balance and there is a need to learn something new when it comes to this self-development. When it comes to recognizing, maybe somebody got bamboozled here. Aries, Leo, Sag. We do have Virgo, Sag. But I think get ready for a realignment. But we are going to see what this Hierophant reverse is all about disillusionment coming out of disillusionment um when it comes to a missed opportunity i think there was a missed opportunity in the past when it comes to a soulmate union we do have a true pair on the bit on the board and i kind of feel this feminine went through purification went through healing and has turned her back on this shadowy energy and i kind of feel this masculine was in a, a very toxic situation he lacked his courage he lacked his strength um, there was a period of confusion and illusion, I feel, and there's crystal clear clarity coming through when it comes to a soulmate union, when it comes to a missed opportunity in the past where I think two people did have a lot of passion for one another. What is this devil about? Judgment reversed, six of wands, ten of swords, betrayal. I think somebody did make a bad judgment call and maybe got tricked by a snake type energy and they're facing some very harsh karmic judgment. I think what was done to this queen of swords is coming back around. Um, that was very clear. So I think what goes around comes around and, and this truly is a victory as somebody breaks free from this illusion, um, this very toxic cycle, this very extreme addictive codependent relationship and faces that final judgment call. Somebody's not been heeding the messages from the divine. I think there was a lack of reciprocity. 
I think there is a foundation crumbling. I think it might look stable on social media, but there's a lot of disloyalty here, unfaithfulness here. There's no passion left here. And I don't think there's any stability left within a foundation. There's betrayal here. What is this moon about? Eight of Swords, the Hermit, Six of Cups. I think somebody's been all trapped up in their head. They've really constructed a false prison cell of their own making, a prison cell of worry, fear, regret, remorse, and all they got to do is take the blindfold off. I think somebody's been going within, you know, replaying memories over and over and over again in their head about this poor judgment call, preparing for that brand new beginning, I think somebody's about to rush in very, very quickly with a lot of communication, coming in for that missed opportunity, seeking victory and success, could be dealing with an Aries, Virgo, but I think get ready for some communication, and I don't think you're going to see this coming. I think this is coming in very quickly. What is this Seven of Pentacles reversed, please? Knight of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. So somebody's been trying to defend and put in the work where something just isn't growing. It's not fruitful. There's no financial um, stability there. I think somebody, you know, was very disloyal. I think somebody's on the defense. Uh, maybe it's this Queen of Swords. She's got her walls up. She's ready for a, a fight. I think there is victory to be had here, but it's going to take a lot of hard work. If somebody's willing to do the work in order to restore a sense of balance and consciously lay down a long-standing burden, I think somebody's carried this burden for a very long time and is getting ready to come forward after a period of no communication. What is this Page of Cups reverse, Seven of Swords? Page of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, Magician. There's been manipulative behavior in the past. I think somebody, you know, got tempted by the devil, got tempted by the snake. And I feel they've lost their, their drive for life again. I feel there is a need to get grounded. Somebody here is very unstable, very ungrounded, losing a lot of money. I think manifesting a, a karmic rebalancing. And I feel maybe this loss is going to trigger a newfound spark when it comes to a missed opportunity. I feel visionary leader energy coming forward to bring that apology, to exact that appreciation, to bring reciprocation into a connection that I feel was walked away from in the past. Um, could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. We do have Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Gemini Virgo. But let's see what needs to come through with the love oracles when it comes to this message. I do think financial health is in focus, and I think somebody here is struggling financially. I think they're having a hard time because they're very frustrated in a very toxic relationship is what I feel coming through, and they've lacked that confidence to come forward. I think somebody here really sabotaged what could have been a beautiful spiritual union, maybe due to fear and ego issues, jealousy issues, but I think somebody is getting stabbed in the back stabbed in the heart. Um, this hurts. There is going to be a shocking attack as somebody kind of breaks free from a very toxic karmic relationship in the energy today. And there is a need to learn this lesson to release any past resentments. Then get ready for a lot of fleeting triggers to come up in the energies today in order for this inner turmoil to bubble to the surface, to release something and to step into love. I think somebody is moving on from a situation where there's a lot of gossip, a lot of players in the mix. And I think somebody is feeling very lost when it comes to a separation from a true soulmate connection. And I feel they've been grieving and somebody here is getting ready to rise like the Phoenix, to rise from the ashes like the Phoenix in order to rekindle and renew and transform a situation. I think somebody's changed in their mind and they're getting ready to come forward and talk. I think they've been wearing a mask. I think they've been wearing a false persona, hiding just how deeply they miss somebody. So if you've been awaiting a message, I think get ready to receive that text, that phone call, or that email because somebody is interested and they're not talking to anybody about that. So let's see what else needs to come through with the crystal stone deck right out the gate. <laughs> yep, somebody's increasing their firepower. Somebody's going to go with their heart, go with their gut. Somebody has been burning the candle at both ends. Um, 
And there is such a thing as emotional cheating. So I feel um, there's about to be a bridge burned in the energies today in order to bring forward um, this cure energy. So I think action is about to happen. Action is about to be taken um, because somebody is getting ready to restore their passion and to come forward with that heart-centered offer. I think somebody desires to restore a sense of balance to transform these obsessive, addictive behaviors into the light. And I think somebody's been going against their heart, playing into these negative vices, and somebody's about to beg the universe to guide them in the right direction. I think somebody's coming back begging for a second chance and to really do the work. I think get ready because somebody here is being spun out of their comfort zone in order for a new connection to come together from the heart. They've been all up in their head. And I think they're getting ready to offer that higher level of commitment with the diamond. So I think there is a lot of wounds here that are needing to be addressed. I do feel somebody got involved in a very um, hoovering-like situation. Somebody was involved with a very controlling energy that really did drain them. And there is going to be an awakening when it comes to maybe somebody cast a spell on somebody, a negative spell through lustful um, desires. But I think an engagement ring is being shown to me. Maybe somebody is ready to finally give up their independence and come forward with that higher level of commitment, coming forward with an engagement ring, breaking the chains of the past, getting ready to do the right thing. I think a connection did turn cold. I think there might have been some ghosting in the past. And somebody is coming forward with those perfectly clear intentions because it's time. It's time to come out of the darkness and into the light. And somebody's been ignoring their gut. They've been ignoring the higher calling. And they're about to face fear in the face. They're about to face fear head on and to inject some passion with confidence um, in order to restore that balance and that's kind of what i've got for a message today guys i hope this resonated if it did and you would like to book a personal reading please feel free to check out the description box below and i look forward to seeing you all again next time thank you